Now let's wrap up this unit. So let me review and talk about what have we done so far. Well, first of all, uh, I made the argument that metadata is description, description of some thing in the world. But, oh wait, by the way, there are other functions that metadata can fulfill as well. Now, in describing something, what terms can you use? Right? Is there a controlled vocabulary? Is there a set of acceptable terms that you are allowed to use? Or can you use any term you want, an uncontrolled vocabulary? If there is a set of acceptable terms, then you're working with a thesaurus. And we talked about the relationships in a thesaurus. In a natural language thesaurus, the relationships between words are synonymy and antonymy. Means the same, means something, means the opposite. In a controlled vocabulary thesaurus, the relationships between terms are broader term, narrower term, related term, or use for. Right? In an ontology, you have a more complex set of relationships. The relationships can be as complex as you want, and then on top of those, you can start to layer inferences, which you can build algorithms on top of. We made three important distinctions about metadata. First, what is the nature of the object being described? Is it a single object or a compound object? Right. Where is the metadata record? And what is the nature of its relationship with the object? And who or what is the metadata record for? We will get into all of these issues in more depth with specifics around particular technologies as we move on through the course. And then we took a brief tour of information science to hopefully pique your interest in the field of information science and make you want to learn more. So that's all for today. Good night, good work, sleep well.